Alrighty, where have my Carowinds construction updates been? A lot of you are commenting on videos being like, when are you doing a Carowinds construction update? Um, I'm so sorry. I, I thought everyone knew that the construction on Carowinds Copperhead Strike was over. It's complete. Um, and when I say it's over, it's complete, I mean the actual iron workers. So the iron workers on site are done erecting the steel for the coaster. Um, I'm not quite sure if that last transfer track piece has been installed. I'm assuming so, um, because I'm assuming they would want to get that in and then get the the steel workers off site or iron workers off site. There's no reason to keep them there longer um, unless they need that off to get the trains on. I don't know. I don't know how mocks are assembled, um, but yeah, it's looking really great. The buildings are coming up. I mean, compared to Yukon Striker, we don't see formation at all of any buildings whatsoever yet. Um, so this is pretty awesome to see the barn, the launch shed. Um, I think they're even starting the queue line building, if I'm not mistaken. And in this footage, behind the scenes, very shortly, you'll see they're doing the actual storage shed itself. It has been erected, which is pretty cool. So thanks to Carolyn's fans only for sending us in some awesome shots of a really awesome behind the scenes tour yesterday. Um, so he was lucky enough to be at the park at the right time um, and was invited behind the fence to check it out before the season's over. So this is super awesome. You're going to get some really awesome up close shots. Thanks to Carowinds fans only. Check them out on Facebook and YouTube. Um, he's done some awesome coverage of Copperhead Strike throughout the season. In fact, we've used his posts and his pictures and videos a lot this season. So a huge thank you to you. Happy New Year to you. Um, and thanks so much. Uh, so as you can see, Copperhead Strike is complete. This is why there hasn't been any construction updates, but they are hard at work with the theming. Um, so here's an up close shot of the launch with the little bunny hill, which I'm predicting to be a lot of airtime. Um, that's gonna be unique. I've never been on a roller coaster where you launch and then in the launch you're in an airtime hill. Um, so that'll be a fun experience. I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, not, I'm trying to see if there's been anything different from when it's been completed. Obviously, electricals being installed, like at Yukon Striker as well. Um, they are hard at work. It looks like they were able to have the company that installs the theming and the structures on at the same time as the iron workers, where that's not the case at Wonderland. So that's been a very big help to Carowinds as well. We do know that Carowinds does open a whole month and a half earlier than Canada's Wonderland. So that's probably why they're rushing this a little quicker as well. Um, so it's going to be awesome to see this coaster wrapped up really quickly. I mean, we should see testing probably in the next 30 days, to be honest. If if Yukon Striker is supposed to be testing in the next like two months, I'm predicting Copperhead Strike must be testing in the next 30 days, to be honest. Uh, that's a that's a really big estimate and take that with a huge grain of salt. I'm literally just pulling that number out of thin air and basing it off of Yukon Strikers testing schedule. Um, but that's my prediction. I'm I'm going to stick with it because if Yukon Strikers testing in two months, Copperhead Strike has to be testing soon. Um, so that'll be fun to see. Hopefully someone will be invited to that um, or if they're doing an event for that. I have no idea if uh, Carolyn's will do an event for that, but that'll be exciting. Um, and as you can see here, the flyers, uh, vertical started on the flyers. I think everyone in the enthusiast community already knows that. But this is just a little flat ride that'll be assembled in the Blue Ridge Junction area along with Copperhead Strike. So that's gone vertical. They'll just assemble that as well. It's been sitting in storage for those of you that don't know. Um, but Hurler, I think this is called Hurler. It's from what I understand, they were both called Hurler. Um, it has some massive retracking going on on it. Um, this is a pretty big portion that they're retracking, which you'll see in this video. It leads me to believe that Hurler actually isn't going to be arm seed anytime soon. Um, I know that's a really big statement to make, but whenever you see a very large portion of a coaster being retracked, I like to think that it means that it's not going to be receiving a big update anytime soon, whether that be GCI RMC, just because they wouldn't be spending money on it if it was in the near future, unless it was an absolute necessity. So let's say something was wrong with the track work or something was going wrong or they viewed it as unsafe in the next year, then I could see that still being a possibility. Um, but we know that Cedar Fair is generally really good at upkeep on their attractions. Anyways, 
Here's a quick update on the dorms. I believe these are the dorms in this video. So that's going to be a great help. I love that Cedar Fair is focusing on that. Anyways, um, there's going to be some really awesome shots from Carowinds fans only at the end of this video, showing off Blue Ridge Junction and Copperhead um, construction. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this video um, updated you on all the progress at Copperhead Strike. I don't know if there'll be any more future videos unless there's a behind the scenes construction tour over the winter, like over at some of the other parks. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll keep you posted if I learn anything more in Copperhead Strike. Um, thanks for being interested in the construction progress of Copperhead Strike on Amusement Insiders. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you had an amazing New Year's. Have a good one, guys. Bye.